coming at you today. We are doing another snow foam uh, car wash review today. It is going to be Durgloss 901 slash 902. Depends on how you uh, order it and get it as to what number you call it. Had a few people comment the last time about how my car wasn't very dirty when we when we're really doing this. So I just wanted to show it's uh pretty well caked on there. I personally wouldn't really want to hit it with a wash mitt right now. So we're gonna set this up back here trying to get a good overall view of what we're dealing with. Load up the uh, gun once again. Car Pro hooking us up here. I have two ounces of the Duragloss car wash in here. Hot water filled all the way up. This thing is set for full foam just till we get the full effect. Okay, I'm going to let this set for about three minutes as per my usual standard, and we're going to come back. While, while we're waiting, I'm going to go around and I'm going to hit the other side. It has been three minutes, uh, give or take, maybe a little bit more. Uh, the one thing that I do like specifically about the Duragloss shampoo is on the horizontal surfaces, stuff clings like nobody's business. Same way with the sides. As you can see, where it, where it was fairly clean, it started to run off. But where it was dirty, it is definitely clinging and clinging hard. Um, now, my one, probably my one and only real complaint that I have on Duragloss shampoo is the cherry cough syrup scent. I don't know. For me, it just doesn't do it. I'll tell you what, though. You make it a peach scent, I'd be buying this stuff by the five gallon bucket. Uh, Duragloss 901 902 is one of the better cleaning, better value soaps that I have and that I've used. Um, I liked it enough, even though, I, even though I don't care for the scent, I liked it enough I bought a gallon. So I've got quite a bit to go through. I am going to set this up and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hose, rinse everything off with the pressure washer and then we're gonna come back and do a final view on it just to see what it looks like after the pressure washer um, and before I do any kind of wash. Okay, we finished rinsing it off. Um, now, one thing I do wanna make clear, I did not keep this pressure washer, you know, directed on anything for too long. I stayed about two or three feet back and I really just got enough water to rinse off all of the soap um, I did not focus on, you know, trying to get all of the dirt and grime out of anything other than the wheels and the wheel wells. Um, so for me, this really is a test as to how well the soap cleaned on its own and then, you know, when it rinsed away with the uh, water. Hood, very good. We're going to try something. Now, obviously... You can kind of see the water line right at the belt line. I think it did a really good job. Would the pressure washer have done it itself? Probably. Um, but let's be honest, the snow foam looks cool. And this is one thing I've also noticed. This is what you're left with, especially with Duragloss. I used Duragloss to wash one of my vehicles yesterday. And when I got up this morning, there was still foam sitting in my driveway. 
Now it did get pretty cold last night, but there was still foam sitting in my driveway. So that is quite impressive. As far as the bucket wash goes, that will be for another video and another setup uh, today because it's so overcast and it's probably going to rain here any minute. Um, this was really just to do get the car washed off and uh, work on the snow foam aspect of Duragloss 901 slash 902. Um, protection on this car currently is the Workstat Acrylic Prime. Um, using Prime Strong and Acrylic Jet. And there's about five coats of Acrylic Jet on here. I find it so easy to use, it's almost impossible for me not to go over the top and really put a lot of coats on. So, from this point forward, I might put another coat or two on if it still stays in the 50s here. Uh, if not, this car will begin to get uh, weekly washes, rinses, and then it will be kept up with Sonus acrylic glands the spray sealant version to uh, just do little top-ups.